Hello guys, today we are going to be reviewing the Amber Collections of Love Stories. And it's pretty nice looking. But let me tell you, this is hard to get your hands on. When I say hard, I mean like hard. And if you want to, it's going to cost you more, definitely more than 200 bucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this figure, it's... Nice, I like it. First of all, let's get into paint. So, first thing I notice, we have one, two, three, four. Four different types of paint. We have a tan underbelly, a very dark green on the top, the white outlining, and a lighter green. Let's see. And so let's get into that. We have... You hear a splotch of dark green over the eye coming up into the crest, where the rest of the crest is just a lighter green. See that? And then we have, going down, we have one stripe here, and then another stripe right here. And then it all comes into this one big um, pattern that runs down into the tail, where it cuts a little short, I feel like. It could have gone up to here, but I can't complain. This is an awesome am like, an awesome figure, especially for the Amber Collection. Um, the Raptors don't stand that well, um, but this one does, knock on wood. And, um, so yeah. Uh, it's pretty nice, and, um, for that, we have that part, now right here, for the joint, you can see we have the light tan coming in, and over here, on the underbelly, we have the tan running down into the head right here, until right on the head, and then, we also have tans running down, but then it stops, where there's green. See that? And so another thing I noticed about this, it's not really paint, but you can see we've got the hole somewhere else. Instead of being a right here, you know, you know what that looks like. Like you just put a hole right here. It it looks like a it's on the butt. And then it's a hole. Put those together. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, so instead of looking like a butthole, it is it impaling the stomach now. <laughs> this one, I like better. Well, actually, I kind of liked the... When it was right here, it's just funny. But, um, yeah, and see, the base sticks right into here now. Yeah. Um, and this, um, let's get into sculpt. Um, so first with the sculpt, what I notice is we got for the head sculpt, it looks pretty nice, and... Um, I think it really looks accurate. See, we got, like, right here, we got an indent, but in that indent, around the a little indent, there's a bump sticking out. And, yeah. And, see it? Notice it? Yeah. But then we have the eye, nicely, this part sculpted nice. I like the jaw too, where it goes, and then it comes, it goes up, and then comes down a little bit, and then comes back up. I like that. Same thing for this side. And the teeth sculpt, open that up. 
Oh, and one thing I forgot with the paint. We also have mouth paint. Yeah. So the mouth paint, teeth paint. Alright, but um yeah, the teeth teeth sculpt. It's it's pretty good. I mean like I'd say that's good. I like it. And um to close that up, we're gonna look at go more down. See we just go down, got some a wrinkle line, kinda like vein. And you go and got like a wrinkle wrinkles right here. You can kinda see the ribs and got a one big wrinkle um right here it's coming over see that one big wrinkle right there and um yeah we're so gonna here's that closer up and for the hand sculpt we go down got hands it was uh, the palm of the hand. See, we got some wrinkles on the hand, like separate bone spots. Right here, we have the top part. It's like painted more of like a black. Not exactly black, but a different paint. And then, um, yeah, we got it sculpted pretty nicely. And flip this over, so a few wrinkles, not much, and then over here, onto the, right here, on, on the side, we have this wrinkle, this wrinkle, keep having uh, a lot of details, the wrinkles. Make sure we get as much lighting as possible so you guys can see and see that. And then we got the feet sculpt, foot sculpt, just like that. That, see. Yeah, and um, not a tail, not much to it. I mean, we got like a little wrinkle here, and going along, it's nothing really. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. And um, I think we've done most of the sculpt. The hand sculpt, die, but most of it. Alright, I think we did all of it. And oh, another thing I noticed is there's like a bone, the spine, you can see it right here, coming along, and then right with the tail it stops. Coming up, if you were to get this bigger, you would feel like it's harder right here. And the spine stops. Alright, so now this guy also for the sculpt have these little points that the Dilophosaurus had sculpting um, coming out of the crest. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the sculpt. Now we're going to do articulation. I mean, like, we have normal um, amber collection articulation. Um, mouth open, closes, hole. Yeah. It has, this one doesn't really have blood splotches, but yeah, the mouth opening closes, right here articulates, like a ball joint right there, right here goes down up, side to side, yeah, and then going down we have the wrist articulation, elbow articulation, arm articulation, same for the other one, um, and then we have thigh 
to do it. I want to be gentle. Cost a lot of money. Um, we also have the squiggle right here. The spoon right here to do it. The knee. The knee articulates, and yeah, nice articulation. We also have the articulation on the tail and the bendy wire, which is not as much bendy wire on this one. So we got the bendy wire. I don't really like bending it that much, especially with this figure. This one stands pretty well. If you want to see it. Take a look. Here. All right, and now that we, if you saw it standing a little bit, it's pretty nice. Um, I'll go get an amber after him. Fell down. It's, it's sturdy, don't worry, it's just, um, we'll do the Amber Raptor size comparison, so, who I haven't held this Raptor in a while, I feel like I'm gonna do a review on this soon, it's a Lost World Amber Raptor, um, and compare it, I mean, like, it, it's okay, it's just it's not the best with standing and stuff. See, it stands. And let's do a size comparison. Here, we. Got next to the Zorosaurus. Here, I'll bring it up to the camera more. This is like both of them together. And yeah, the Dilophosaurus is one of the more, one of the ones that are more the um, smaller side of the Rainbow collection. And let's look at. Since it's the smaller ones, it comes with accessories. So let's now take a look at the accessories. Let's go. So first thing, to change the frill, we have to just pop the head off. Um, pop the head off. Here's the, um, closed frill. Got that nice paint texture. Alright. Then here's just plain. We got the closed frill. And then we got headless Dilophosaurus. Boop. And then we got the open frill. Which I like this one way better than the hammer collection one. Honestly. This Amber Collection one is better than the Hammer Collection one, I think, in my opinion. Here we go, just pop that right on. All right. And then we got the Dwarf Source. And then slide this over a little more. And now, roar. We got the Dilophosaurus on its fr big frill. Out. Roar. Put that right here for now while we look at the, um, just hard to stand. It's not because the joints are loose, it's just because, um, it doesn't have big enough feet, I feel like. And it's hard to pose, particularly on to stand sometimes. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna get what got this. So, we got the um, East Dock sign, the arrow moves, and 
got the boat right there, the island, back is normal. It also comes with this, which you have to stick this on boot or go in the rock. And we also have the stand, which I what I like about this one is it's the gold one. But I think I know why they um they moved the gold. And where's that other piece? Here. Here's an intermission. Go get a snack. No, I'm joking. It won't be that long. I just there's this other piece. find it. I know it's somewhere, I just don't wanna leave you guys hanging. If you could um be patient though. Be nice, just put the camera like that. You can always well, um, on oh, on resume work. But it's a very sad spitter. I'll show you the hole where it goes. It's it doesn't look that good. Um, so it, it's like in the movie the black goo. It's like darker, but um yeah. Here's a little sneak peek at what we're some of the things we're gonna do for like. Cool. Um, and hope you have. Well, first let me say what I think of this figure. Um, I think the Amber Collection Dilophosaurus deserves a ten out of ten. It is so good. Um, yeah, it's like one of the best figures I've had. And wish you a good one. Have a holly jolly. Wait, it's not Christmas. I bye.